hi guys welcome back to my youtube channel and welcome back to this video in today's video i'll be showing you how to preserve garlic and ginger like how to how to yeah how to preserve them so that you can be using them every day every day so remember peeling these things is so hectic so i'll be showing you how you can uh, like preserve i had already uh, peeled them in advance so yeah and you can really use this paste for quite a long time okay so all you need is garlic uh ginger and your oil and a place to store you can store in an airtight container a glass jar or yeah so long as it is tight it's tightly covered okay so tag along with me and in case you're new here kindly consider subscribing to this channel so that we can grow 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 okay yeah so we are right to 2000 and i'm hoping before the end of year we can reach to 2000 with your help of course okay so let's get to let's get let's get there to the video and let me show you how to press on so guys i'll start by chopping my garlic and ginger into small pieces so that it can be blendable <laughs> yes uh, just to make it easy for them to to blend easily yeah so that's what i'm doing right now chop 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 into small small pieces put in the blender or in this grinder you can use your blender you can use your grinder and in case you don't have any of that you can just grate them or you can mash using that thin that what is it called? I don't know what's called in oh the pestle, that pestle and the plastic. Yeah, you can uh, smash, mash, mash, mash them. Yeah, <laughs> yeah. So let's do this, guys. Let's do this. Not a single day that passes without you on my mind. Not even one minute can end up before you come around. I yearn for the days when I see your face. As you've seen, I have put my chopped garlic and ginger in my grinder and I've added some oil to make it easier to, you know, to blend, yeah, to make it uh, soft. So the liquid use the oil so that it can be easier to blend the garlic and ginger, to, bl to blend the paste. Yeah, so that's what I'm doing right there. Make sure it's mixed up very well. 
as I'm going to show you. Just follow and see what I'm doing. And I'm telling you guys, do not go wrong with it. I promise you, this book can stay up to six months. Yes, six months. So, the more you make, the better for you. Yeah. So, uh, who, uh, who wants to smell garlic every now and then and cooking? Nobody. So, this will be a very easy hack in the kitchen and it will, be, it will be a really good help for you. Yeah, so, continue watching, guys, and let's, 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 let's continue, uh, doing this. garlic and ginger paste and I'm going to be storing it in this container and trust you guys this thing can stay for a month plus so long as the secret is you put oil in it and you tighten it and you put it in a tight uh, container so I'll be putting some oil in my storage container okay yeah So, we're covering all this with oil, some oil. And then I'll put my paste in here. It's as simple as that, guys. Imagine. And this can last for up to a month plus. Mix what? Mix. It makes work easier guys. You don't need to really come and start. That's all guys. See? This will save you a lot, a lot of time during cooking. Okay? Yeah, so I hope this uh, will help you and you're going to adapt. Yeah. Saves a lot of time. So, here is my airtight container and Boom. Thank you so much guys for watching. Love you. See you in my next video. Love you all. Mwah.